All right, so I'm doing three different videos on three different types of candies. The first one I did was uh, powder pigments, where it's just a powder that you mix with the reducer, then you mix with an inner coat or the clear. Um, the next one I'm going to do here is on the traditional, what you would usually see in a candy concentrate, which would be a liquid. Um, I have a few different ones here. House of Color, this is a popular one. This is Oriental Blue, Organic Green. I got Spanish Gold, uh, I had a Wild Cherry. And then I have one other one. This is Bright Red, I really like this one. Um, this is from American Dream Customs. So, i am got these all mixed up. I mixed these in an inner coat, and I mixed these one to one with the reducer, so it's a thinner film. And you just got to play around with how much you want in there. They have recommendations on them. This one is one to eight. Um, you can put more or less to make it stronger, and most of them take several coats. Each coat you put on is going to be darker, so. I'll show you a few of these colors and spray them with an airbrush. I have some uh, switch covers here that I already have metal flake underneath. And I have some patterns that I put on here with some candy black. So you can kind of see what it looks like over silver and over black. Okay, the first one I'm going to do, we got this house of color, oriental blue. Got it all mixed in a jar, and we're ready to spray. You can see the first coat you put on isn't going to be real dark. So if you're looking for a really light blue, just maybe one or two coats would do it, but most of the time you're going to do a lot more than this. And with the candy, you want to make sure you get a nice even spray, good overlap. If you get too much in one spot compared to another, it's going to look blotchy. Here it is on a motorcycle that I did, and this is four coats, and this is clear coated. Okay, so here's the bright red. This is an outrageous brand from American Dream Customs. So here it's mixed up, and I've already done some of these. This is a pretty cool color. I really like this red. Uh, these don't have a clear coat on them yet. This is just the inner coat with the candy. Here they are finished. This is with the clear coat over them, and they've been buffed and polished. Okay, here's some um, House of Color. This is organic green. There it is mixed. Seems like this green covers really good. You can get this pretty good green color in just a few coats with this. So 
So here next to each other, I did two different ones. And this one here is one coat. And this is three coats. You can see how much darker it gets and how you can make a different color variation just by how many coats you want to put on. Here's the organic green. This is after it's been cleared, a couple coats of clear and buffed, polished. I think this was two coats. Okay, so here's our Spanish gold from House of Color. This is mixed in a jar. It's got a yellowish, orangish tint to it. Um, when you first put this on, this is one coat on here. It's pretty yellow. Uh, it almost looks, if you want yellow, just one or two coats of this is pretty good for yellow. To get a good gold like this, this was four coats. So, this one definitely takes a lot more coats than some of the other colors, especially to get a good gold. Here's the Spanish gold. Uh, it's just the middle of both of these. I did some orange around the outside. Um, this was the one that had, I think it was either one or two coats, so it's a lighter gold. And then this one had four coats. You see it ends up being more of a gold than a yellow. All right, out of the three different parts of this I did on candy concentrates, I would say the liquids are pretty much the go-to for most people. Um, they're going to give you the most options for colors. Every company has their liquid candy concentrate. Tons of colors available. Uh, colors work good. They look good. I mean, it's pretty easy to use. Um, I think the other two options, the powders and the pigments, they're a good option. I use them. They're a lot cheaper, but they are harder to find and you're more limited to the colors that are available or which ones work with those options. So can't go wrong with these.